Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R440 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on how to update your BIOS. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R440 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. What's up in? Uh, this video is specifically focused on how to update the BIOS for your R440. What we're going to do here does not require an operating system. If you do have an operating system, what I recommend actually is uh, doing what we call a mass updates, and we do that in two videos from now in this series. And the mass updates will update the iDRAC, the BIOS, the onboard diagnostics, the firmware, your RAID, your NIC, plus a ton of other stuff. And it's the way that I personally recommend updating your BIOS. What we're going to do here is more if you're in a pinch and you don't have an operating system on your R440. What you'll need is a USB drive, and that USB drive we're going to download an EFI file, and we're going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it all. And let's just hop in, and we'll show you how to do it right now. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your BIOS. So this is going to be a pretty easy, simple set of instructions. We're going to start out by downloading an EFI file from Dell's website. We're going to put this EFI file on a USB drive. Then we're going to move that USB drive and plug that into the server. And then from there, we can access the EFI file from the boot manager and run our BIOS update. So let's go ahead and get started. Is we want to go to Dell's website. And on Dell's website, we want to go to support and then support home. And then where it says identify your product, you want to go ahead and type in the name of our server. Once we've selected that, we want to go over to the Drivers and Downloads tab. And then here, we want to set the operating system as not applicable. And then now we want to change the category to BIOS. As you can see, there's one option left here. So we're going to click this drop down, and then we're going to go to Other Formats. Now we want to click the Download button that is across from EFI and this is going to download the EFI file. So it's a pretty quick download. Once it's done downloading, we want to go ahead and go to our file explorer, and we want to find where our file downloaded to, and then we want to drag it over to our USB drive on the left-hand side. And once we do that, that's gonna copy the file in there, so we are all good to go to move this USB drive to our server, and then we can begin the BIOS update. So now that we've downloaded the BIOS EFI file from Dell's website and we've moved it to a USB drive, you want to go ahead and plug that USB drive into your server and then go ahead and power on your server and during post you want to press F11 and this is going to take us into the boot manager. So once in boot manager scroll down to system utilities and then you want to go down to BIOS update file explorer and here which displays our USB drive, so we want to do that. And then we want to select our EFI file. So once we've selected the file name, it'll give us this black screen here, so we just want to wait a couple of seconds. And then it'll pull up this screen, so we just want to click Continue BIOS Update. And at the very top, it'll show your current BIOS version, as well as the version that we are upgrading to. So like I said, just click Continue BIOS Update and then it'll give a second to load. So this part may take a little bit of time, so we're going to go ahead and fast forward. But basically our system is going to reboot into that BIOS update, and once we get to this screen right here, it'll say updating BIOS, and then it'll show the version that you're upgrading from, and then to the version that you're upgrading to. Um, and this part, you know, it'll, it'll take a little bit of time, so we're just gonna fast forward through this as well um, while our BIOS updates. So once that is done, our system is going to reboot again, and we have successfully updated the BIOS. So if you found this video useful, go ahead and leave a like and smash the subscribe. And if you're interested in any Dell, Supermicro, HP servers, or even some custom AMD Ryzen servers, AMD Epics, Intel Scalables, go ahead and email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, take care.